Andalusian horse from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The Andalusian, also known as the Pure Spanish Horse, or PRE, is a horse breed developed in the Iberian Peninsula. Its ancestors have been present on the Iberian Peninsula for thousands of years. The Andalusian has been recognized as an individual breed since the 15th century, and its conformation has changed very little over the centuries. Throughout its history it has been known for its prowess as a war horse and was prized by the nobility. The breed was used as a tool of diplomacy by the Spanish government and kings across Europe rode and owned Spanish horses. During the 19th century warfare, disease and crossbreeding reduced herd numbers dramatically and despite some recovery in the late 19th century the trend continued into the early 20th century. Exports of Andalusians from Spain were restricted until the 1960s, but the breed has since spread throughout the world, despite still low population numbers. In 2003, there were over 75,000 registered Andalusians worldwide. Strongly built and compact yet elegant, Andalusians have long, thick manes and tails. Their most common coat colour is grey although they can be found in many other colours. They are known for their intelligence, sensitivity and docility. A substrain within the breed, known as Carthusian, is considered by breeders to be the purest strain of Andalusian, though there is no genetic evidence for this claim. The strain is still considered separate from the main breed, however, and is preferred by breeders because buyers pay more for horses of Carthusian bloodlines. There are several competing registries keeping records of horses designated as Andalusian or PRE, but they differ on their definitions of the Andalusian and PRE, the purity of various strains of the breed, and the legalities of stud book ownership. At least one lawsuit is in progress as of 2010 to determine the ownership of the Spanish PRE stud book. The Andalusian is closely related to the Lusitano of Portugal and has been used to develop many other breeds, especially in Europe and the Americas. Breeds with Andalusian ancestry include many of the warm bloods in Europe, as well as Western Hemisphere breeds such as the Azteca. Over its centuries of development, the Andalusian breed has been selected for athleticism and stamina. The horses were originally used for classical dressage, driving, bullfighting and as stock horses. Modern Andalusians are used for many equestrian activities including dressage, show jumping and driving. The breed is also used extensively in movies, especially historical pictures and fantasy epics. Section 1 Characteristics Generally standing between 15.2 and 16.2 hands 62 and 66 inches, 157 and 168 centimetres high, Andalusian horses are both elegant and strongly built. Members of the breed have heads of medium length with a straight or slightly convex profile. Ultra convex and concave profiles are discouraged in the breed and are penalised in breed shows. Necks are long and broad, running to well defined withers chests massive, backs short, hindquarters broad and strong, with well-rounded croups. The breed tends to have clean legs with no propensity for blemishes or injuries and energetic gaits. The mane and tail are thick and long, although the legs do not have excessive feathering. Andalusians tend to be docile, but are also intelligent and sensitive. When treated with respect, they are quick to learn, responsive and cooperative. There are two additional characteristics unique to the Carthusian strain, believed to trace to the strain's foundation stallion Esclavo. The first is warts under the tail, a trait which Esclavo passed to his offspring, and a trait which some breeders felt was necessary to prove that a horse was a member of the Esclavo bloodline. The second characteristic is the occasional presence of horns, which are actually frontal bosses 
possibly inherited from Asian ancestors. The physical descriptions of the bosses vary, ranging from calcium-like deposits at the temple to small horn-like protuberances near or behind the ear. However, these horns are not considered proof of esclavo descent, unlike the tail warts. When the breed was first developed, most coat colours were found, including spotted patterns. Today, around 80% of all Andalusians are grey. Of the remaining horses, approximately 15% are bay, and 5% are black, dun, or palomino, or chestnut. Other colours, such as buckskin, pearl, cremello, are rare, but are recognised as allowed colours by registries for the breed. In the early history of the breed, certain white markings and halls were considered to be indicators of character and good or bad luck. Horses with white socks on their feet were considered to have good or bad luck, depending on the leg or legs affected. A horse with no white markings at all was considered to be ill-tempered and vice-ridden, while certain facial markings were considered representative of honesty, loyalty and endurance. Similarly, hair halls in various places were considered to show good luck or bad luck, with the most unlucky being in places where the horse itself could not see them, for example the temples, cheek, shoulder or heart. Two halls near the root of the tail were considered a sign of courage and good luck. The movement of Andalusian horses is extended, elevated, cadenced and harmonious, with a balance of roundness and forward movement. Poor elevation, irregular tempo and excessive winging, sideways movement of the legs from the knee down, are discouraged by breed registry standards. Andalusians are known for their agility and their ability to learn difficult moves quickly, such as advanced collection on turns on the haunches. A 2001 study compared the kinematic characteristics of Andalusian, Arabian and Anglo-Arabian horses while moving at the trot. Andalusians were found to overtrack less, the degree to which the hind foot lands ahead of the front hoofprint, but also exhibit greater flexing of both fore and hind joints movement consistent with the more elevated way of going typically found in this breed. The authors of the study theorised that these characteristics of the breed's trot may contribute to their success as a riding and dressage horse. A 2008 study found that Andalusians experience ischemic or reduced blood flow diseases of the small intestine at a rate significantly higher than other breeds and stallions had higher numbers of inguinal hernias, with risk for occurrence 30 times greater than other breeds. At the same time, they also showed a lower incidence of large intestinal obstruction. In the course of the study, Andalusians also showed the highest risk of laminitis as a medical complication related to the intestinal issues. We now come to the end of the spoken article, Andalusian Horse Part 1. The next part of the recording will be recorded at a later date. This sound file and all the text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 unported license, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.